Hello everyone and welcome. So I'm going to be talking today about Venus and Libra. This is going to be a series because you all requested uh, these videos. So I'm going to be doing Venus and Libra and the next video that I'll be putting out is going to be Venus and Aries. So you guys can use the two energies and their oppositions to help uh, in your relationships. So if you want to learn about how you really in relationships and um, what are your patterns and rhythms uh, this is the right place to come to and if you have a Venus in Libra or if your Venus is progressed in Libra all of this will make sense to you so I got my notes so I'm just gonna go over some things with you guys and you guys can get a brief indication and in the end I will have a tarot card that I will um, also pull out to signify the energy of Venus in Libra for those of you that are more visual okay so Venus in Libra is um, a really amazing energy because Venus is in its second home in Libra. The first home of Venus is Taurus. So with the Venus in Libra, it's more about relating to someone on a mental level, um, relating to everyone really on a mental level, right? So you're using um, the energy of relationships um, to communicate. And when the seventh house, you're all about the other. So a lot of your time is spent on the other or the people that you are in relationships with in your life. So your partnerships, like your romantic relationships, um, would take precedence in your life. If you have a strong Venus in Libra um, or your work, you can find that you're a workaholic if you have Venus in Libra or um, you give a lot of your energy to your family and your friends. It's always going to be something that your energy is going to with the Venus in Libra. So you compare and contrast um, your values according to the information that you're receiving from the other people that you're communicating with a lot of the times and you see if you resonate with that not really judging the other person it's more like um example you can have a friend that is from another culture than you and instead of um maybe judging the culture you would learn and ask questions about uh, certain things about the culture um, so you can compare and contrast and see how your culture was different or how your upbringing was different than this person um, and you may even adapt the values from people that you meet uh, family members and lovers because it helps you with um, um, really kind of stabilizing your value systems as well so it's like other people help you with your value system so because remember Venus is in the sign of others and others relate relationships so you usually learn about yourself through relationships which is a big deal for you so your relationships are really are going to be a big deal if you have a venus in libra learning balance to extremes right because your opposition is aries so you may find that you do things really quick you jump into things without really researching um, and Libra is really learning about how to balance things. So it goes from one extreme to the next extreme to learn like kind of like the balance in the middle. So that's going to be something big if you have a Venus in Libra. I'll talk about the aspects too um, once I'm finished with the descriptions, what happens with your Venus with that. So social extremes may happen where you may um, be really, really active uh, socially with your friends and people that you know. And then you may go into moments of isolation from everyone just because you need um, time to reboot and recharge because um, all the people that you may have hung out with or seen, remember you're, you're looking, you're interacting and you're, a lot of your value systems are coming from your relationship. So you may need to recenter yourself and refocus and to do that, you kind of become a hermit, you become a recluse. Um, just to kind of figure yourself out because of all the communication that's been happening, all of the balancing. Because Libra is really good at um, listening to people. Libra is really good at understanding another person's perspective. Um, they have like a really big motto of, you know, you do unto others as you would like others to do unto you. So when you speak to them, um, they're going to listen to you because Venus also rules another octave of the ear and how you hear the messages that are coming to you. So they always want to make sure that they're flexible and understanding others, you know? So that's a really big part of a Venus in Libra energy. So you may isolate yourself to stabilize yourself. That's going to be a big, big part of your journey as a Venus in Libra. And it's a survival mechanism because um, when Venus is in Taurus, it's a, a survival mechanism. But when it's in Libra, it's already, it's already obtained the survival mechanism. Now it needs to 
just kind of like the downtime for the mental stability, the inner anchoring. So let me see something else. So there could be a strong anger with Venus and Libra. So if you do have a Venus and Libra progress, you can find that dealing with anger um, is an extremity for you either really nice <laughs> or you're not, uh, depending on what aspects your, your Venus is making. If there's some Saturnian aspects, um, you can probably have more of a repression with that, but that's, uh, that's another situation there. So it's, um, also something I've noticed about Libra is that, uh, Venus and Libra is that it's difficult, um, to ask for what they need in a relationship and because of the fear of upsetting the relationship or because they just don't know what they need, right? Because you're, you're basing a lot of the value systems off of the relationships that you're encountering, um, so it's really good for Libras when they do do that self isolation so they can figure themselves out. So, um, love and acceptance is, is very important to you. And what, uh, what the evolutionary approach of Venus and Libra is that, um, maybe somewhere in your life early on, you had, you learned that people would not listen to you if you didn't conform to what they wanted you to be. Or uh, it could have been your parents, could have been your guardians, it could have been anyone that meant something to you in your early, um, your early life. So um, that's how you may see that you relate now because you feel like you have to conform um, to be accepted or loved by your partner. Okay, and learn uh, to be learned to be a reflection. You like you guys learned how to be more of a reflection of what people want in relationships as opposed to what you want. And um, this is what's the journey for Venus and Libra is to figure out um, what are your needs and your value systems apart from anybody else, but you only learn them through experiencing relationships with other people and seeing what you don't want. Um, so it's a very interesting energy. Um, I can definitely talk more about it, but I wanted to make this video a little short, it's seven minutes in. So if you guys want to, uh, <laughs> uh, if you guys want more videos like this, uh, whether I'm talking about Venus Libra or just more of about Libra energy, um, let me know. So the aspects um, affecting your Venus can definitely change the tone of what I spoke about. So whether Mercury, Venus, Saturn, or outer planets, Jupiter, all these things, if they're aspecting your Venus, this does change the tone a little bit of the Venus and Libra. But you will find that balance, equality, and fairness is always going to be one of the main themes and patterns with this energy, Okay. So uh, see you guys in the next video. If you guys would book a reading, you can email me at akilaastrology at gmail.com or you can check out my website, akilamoon.com. Thank you guys. Bye.